Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to use Picnic, a free online editing service for photos, to make beautiful striking silhouettes. For this one, you don't even need an email. You can simply get started and go, and it doesn't cost a thing. So first you want to go to Picnic, and then I'm going to upload a photo. I'm going to pick a photo of a friend of mine, and already I've got it. And then I'm going to go to... Uh, so notice I have a picture of his profile um, and it's very simple with a simple background that's going to make your life a lot easier. If you've got a light source behind it's going to make it even easier. But we're going to start with this one for now. We're going to press create. And then you want to go to, there's a bunch of effects over here on the left hand side. You want to scroll all the way down and there is something called sandbox effects. So it may not be open when you get there, but you're gonna just click that arrow to open it and you're gonna to go to adjustable threshold. Automatically it applies the threshold um, pretty close to what we want. Um, then we're gonna fiddle with these sliders here. We want more white, uh, more of a contrast. And you're gonna get it so that you can get the basic outline. The rest we can troubleshoot and take care of later. When you're uh, pretty much happy with it, you're going to press apply. And then we're going to go way back up to where you see doodle. Click on doodle. And you're going to pick a brush color. Already it's white. Um, and then the brush size, you can go here. I'm going to go ahead and keep the hardness up to 100%. And then you can see the round little brush there that tells you what the size is. I'm going to paint on white for the little stray pixels that I don't want included and go up to here at the corner. If you want to get in closer you can zoom in so you can see a little bit better. Okay and then I'm going to go now to the black because I want to get the black part and I'm going to paint over the white areas that I don't want anymore in black. I kind of like the detail of his glasses so I'm going to go ahead and leave those but that is a purely up to you what your preference is. And I'm happy with it. If you do make a mistake, you can press the eraser and I'm going to apply. Okay, so now you can zoom in or out the way you want it and I'm happy with it. If you want to mess with it, you can press the Googify, Googify, and you could stretch his nose or maybe give him a little bit of a mohawk. Mess around with that. Um, but I think I'm going to be a little bit more serious here and I'm going to press cancel and leave it the way it is. Now this makes a great back to school night project or just a beginning of the year project for parents, a gift. And to make it more of a language arts exercise, I'm going to go over and apply the text tool and I'm going to find some text. The ones down on the bottom are ones you have to pay for, but there's plenty of good choices up here on the top. And you can just pick whatever one you want. And up on the top, you can click and add your text, such as the kid's name. Press add and it automatically comes up here. You can choose whatever color you want have fun with that. And if you want to rotate it, you can just go around like that. If you want to resize it, you can make it bigger or smaller like that. You can put it down in the corner here. Fiddle with it however you want. I kind of like the black and white look, so I'm just going to keep that going here. And then I can just click away to get rid of the box over there. Then if you want to add certain words to describe the personality, you can click again. You can choose the same font or you can choose a different one. 
type in a word. Um, I would have students do this in advance. And this time I have it in white so that you can see it on the black background. Position that and you can keep going however you want. Then if you want, you can also add some frames. There's a lot of different frames to choose from and I highly encourage you to play around. Um, you can do a border like that. You can adjust how thick or thin you want it to be. Like that. You can do rounded edges. You can make a drop shadow to it. Make a museum mat. Whatever you want and have fun with it. So pretty much that's it. Um, the last part of it is when you're going to save it. So you can go over to the tab here on the top and I'm saving it. And you can choose um, how you want to save it to your computer. You can choose the size um, or else there's a lot of different options that you can post to different um, websites. And that's it. Have fun, enjoy, thanks. Thank <music> you.